Hello, everybody. Today, we're going to talk briefly about several of the features that set Google Sheets apart from Excel. In their basic form, yes, these programs have a lot in common. They're both spreadsheet programs that share a lot of basic functionality that users have come to expect from spreadsheet programs over the years. However, they are far from identical. Today, we're going to focus on five features that you'll find in Google Sheets that don't have an exact corollary in Excel. First, I'm going to talk a little about the Google Finance function. One of the large advantages that Sheets has is how it integrates with other Google products. If you're tracking stock information in a spreadsheet, you can use the Google Finance function to pull data directly from Google Finance. For example, here I'll type equals Google Finance parentheses and in quotes put a stock ticker identifier. In this case, I'm going to use G-O-O-G-L, which is one of the identifiers of Google, and the cell will populate with today's price for that stock. Next, let's look at the Google Translate function. This allows you to translate data from a different language into a destination language right within your spreadsheet. You use this by typing equals Google Translate, parentheses, then select your target text, place a comma, and then you're going to put the source language two-letter code in quotation marks, followed by a comma, followed by the destination language two-letter code in quotation marks, and then you're going to close your parentheses. So in our particular example, I've put ES in the first quotation mark, which is for Spanish, or our source language, and then in the second set of quotes, I've put EN for English our destination language. But you can use many, many other languages in this function. You can also use an auto command to auto detect a language. Now, the import feed command imports an RSS feed into a Google spreadsheet. This is a quick way to compile data from sites you want to follow. First, let's place an RSS feed URL into our first cell here. Now, let's use the command. So, a basic example involves typing equals import feed, parentheses, now select the cell where we place the original URL, comma, in quotes, items title, close the quotes, comma, false, comma, 10. This is going to fill column A with the titles of the last 10 stories from the feed. Now we're going to move over to our B column and use equals, import feed, parentheses, select our link again, comma, items URL, in quotes, comma, false, comma, 10, to bring the URLs for those stories into your sheet. You can apply this in a lot of ways, but this is just an introduction to show you that the feature exists. The revision history in Google Sheets also sets it apart. There's many reasons you might want to revert to an earlier version of a given document, but saving multiple versions of a spreadsheet can become cumbersome very quickly. In Google Sheets, just click on File and then choose Revision History, and you have a complete record of all the changes made over time to your document, which you can search through as you desire. Finally, a feature that's one of my favorites is the ability to collaborate and share within Google Sheets. I can share this spreadsheet easily with other people in my organization. When I make changes to this sheet, when we go over to this other account that I've shared it with, you can see that it has been updated in real time. Finally, you can also comment on the sheet so your collaborators can see your questions or comments on the project you're working on. Hopefully you found this rundown of some Sheets exclusive features informative. Thanks so much for watching, and have a great day.